Hello everybody, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. Here is going to be your daily hope. Yep. So we're, oh, uh, this is for the 9th, I guess now. June 9th. Yeah. Daily hope. Well, we are one flipped right out. You are the creator a magician. Speaking of which, I just pulled tarot cards for myself and I got the magician as well. Communication coming in. Someone trying to heal some sort of something about a contract. Yeah. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. <laughs> <clears throat> I claim my place divine as keeper of the mysteries. Even if you don't believe that you have that ability, think about all of the mysteries that are within you that you are keeper of. All of the things that you keep to yourself. This really kind of reminds me of the high priestess card, how she sits there and she's like, also keeper of the mysteries has an inner knowing being guided from past loved ones generations before spirit guides someone might have some very strong connections to indigenous cultures here um <clears throat> regardless of where you're from Every place has indigenous cultures around them. Here in Alberta, we have a lot of, of rich history, even around where I live, about the indigenous cultures that all came before us and are still here. And I myself have been thinking about... Um, heading out to maybe some powwows or something. I think it'd be fun. Going to some markets where they sell those goods that are different. Something to connect with energies of more soulful and very, uh, very connected people. What we talk about here on these channels is like second nature to them. They're they grow up this way, you know, being very, well, I can't say all of them do, but being very awoken to spiritual energy and all of that sort of thing. When I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So in a, being in appreciation for what it is that you have in this world makes the journey from point A to point B so much more beautiful. And I believe it creates the portal energetic opening gateway towards bringing what you desire to you a lot quicker. Okay, and yeah, with a lot more speed. And grace, I might add, because when you're in an attitude of appreciation, which is different than being grateful, but when we're in that attitude of appreciation, we can really bring some, uh, open ourselves to energies that are just. It, it It's an energetic way of opening a portal to bring more energy that is warm and loving and more things for you to be appreciative of in this life. I am a spirit having a human existence. I am here to get closer to love. Look at that. Are we going to allow ourselves to learn through love or are we going to block our heart chakras off and say no more, man? No more love for me. It's too painful. Too painful. I think we go through that at certain times and then at other times we release it and still go through, you know, yeah. So it's like cyclical. So there's something here too could be about the moon and how the moon is cyclical to your life. And you're really starting to realize that with the moon cycles and things that are going on, you, you feel some sort of 
consistency in your life based on the moon cycles. On a quest, be bold. Mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. So what are we trying to be brave about? What action are we trying to take? What quest are we on? What are you questing towards? The beautiful thing is you are not alone. Look at this here, her riding this beautiful big dragon. Dragons have been a theme as of late in these readings. Someone on the channel there left a comment saying they dreamt of a white dragon. Look at that. And the next card I get out is pilgrimage. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. Well, that's interesting. Why is that so interesting? Well, the reason I find it incredibly interesting is mostly because our, our souls, I believe, know the way. They know the way. Your inner being knows the way. They know this map that is set out in point form for us all to experience uh, on our soul journey. They know our, our star map. They know it. And our soul knows it. Our inner being knows it. The divine within us knows it. They know that at a certain point in time there is fate on each, you know, spot on the map. They know that we can choose to make those points on the map our destiny or choose to move on due to free will. How the map is unfolding now is very important and it's very wise for you to pay attention to how it's unfolding because how you respond to those moments that are unfolding for you, the fate points on your map that you come into contact with, how you respond to that, how you you engage yourself with that will define and decide whether you make this point in your map something about destiny or whether it's just another spot on the map. We have free will to choose whether we can turn that fate into absolute destiny. The dreamwalker dreams the collective good illusions. So doing something for the collective goods or something with someone's dreams here and being guided towards something that is of the collective good. But be careful of illusions. The lady of lightning surprises. Sometimes shock. Total paradigm shift. Look at that. This is card number eight and this reduces to an eight. Wow. This is a very divine thing and there's something about you getting on point getting oh i see so there's something you dream of and you wonder if it's just an illusion that you'll never have that i believe the divine is coming in to bring shock and awe your way my friends <laughs> yeah crafty little creature aren't they they're crafty little creatures y'all divines are crafty little creatures all right let's read dreamwalker card number eight that's funny i was just sitting there hearing them chuckle or talk about crafty little creatures and then i had this whole thing fly through my brain about um crafts of indigenous people Okay, I'm going to read the ally portions because they both came out upright. When the dream walker is your ally, dreams really can and do come true. Still, there are two kinds, those of the small self and those of the divine. Spirit has a dream for you that is yours alone, and all you need to do is ask and it will unfold like magic. You also play an important and unique part in the divine dreaming of the world. When you ask, is this a dream for me that serves the greater dream? The most beautiful vision for your life serves the highest good for others too. Just the act of asking will immediately provide the answer. The dream walker is beside you to help you move effortlessly through the illusions, observing the truth and celebrating the waking dream of your life that results. Look at that. You know, maybe I will read the challenger too, because within this, within this, uh, beautiful thing there there's also a challenge 
the dreamwalker challenges you to wake up from your restless sleep in which you're not dreaming at all. This is the time to remind yourself of your passions and the aspirations you may have left behind. See, this is what I'm talking about. Someone thinking about something that they wanted or, you know, even when they were younger, even as a child, they wanted and they've left it behind. They're asking you to wake up. Don't give them up. There is always a way they can return to you as long as you don't try to dictate the forms they take. Another way the dream walker challenges you is when you're in the middle of a nightmare brought on by you or by others. Wake up and don't struggle. She reminds you that the divine will lead you out of the bad dream and into a much better one. This too shall pass. Be mindful that you have a unique and special purpose. You're always actively influencing your reality throughout your thoughts and reactions to life's changes so there's that whole free will thing so we have a choice as to how we act and react to things there's something that could be coming that will bring shock and awe total paradigm shift and it's an absolute surprise and i'm telling you this lady of the lightning and the dream walker they are no joke they are coming here to absolutely put you on a new quest and on a pilgrimage towards who you are supposed to be here in this world and in this paradigm right now it's beautiful what a beautiful reading because if you've been waiting there's some things that are going to happen that are truly going to shift your your thought process your everything yeah they really are shift your thought process shift everything and is the divine up for the up for the task oh yeah they are in fact sometimes they sit there and think that they almost relish in it yeah they do because they see the end game they see the whole picture and they know it's scary for us and they know all the things that are going on but they are so excited and can see the end game much higher than high from a higher vantage point than we can see it ourselves lady of the lightning as an ally the lady of the lightning brings powerful forces of change into your life she tells you to expect a sudden shift in your circumstances perhaps a situation you weren't anticipating arises and offers you the opportunity of a lifetime or a series of aha moments culminate in a pivotal flash of insight causing everything to change just like that maybe someone enters your life and pushes you to new heights you have you may have a brilliant idea that hits you like lightning be prepared change is imminent and a total paradigm shift may be upon you don't resist the changes as this kind of lightning isn't something you want to fight great things are happening when the lady of lightning appears so fantastic things are happening for you now as a challenger you may feel challenged by the fantastic things because you might not look at them as un you might look at them as unpleasant or unwanted but how the divine goes about creating this change isn't always a fun thing especially when we've been sitting there stubborn and stuck and refusing to move or not seeing the many signs that have come our way and when we don't follow those signs the divine has no choice but to bring us what i call a spiritual brick wall and we hit that brick wall and we can't move. We can't move forward. We can't move backwards. The only thing we can do is bang our head against it until we realize that the direction that we are going in is not the one for us. And then what happens? The crumbling happens. Not the wall crumbling, the ego crumbling, because we put so much energy and effort into going down this direction. The ego crumbles, and when the ego crumbles, that's when we let go, lose resistance, and allow the divine. And that's what the divine wants. They want you to lose resistance so that they can move you forward with ease and appreciation and getting closer to love and allowing them to f unfold it for you in your life. It's absolutely beautiful. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong when all of this happens. There is no shortage of time. There is no shortage of money. There is enough for all. There is enough for all. That should be someone's appreciation statement. As a challenger, unpleasant news or unexpected shock or an overall sense of powerlessness are the aspects you may experience when the Lady of Lightning appears as your challenger. This is a time when you may be forced to make a change you don't want to make. A situation may suddenly turn in a different direction than you'd hoped it would. 
This is a sign of difficulty and unwanted surprises, but consider the idea of a thunderstorm and how beautifully charged with electricity the world is after it passes. It will always pass because that is the nature of the storm. Your difficulties will too, as that is the way of things as well. In the realm of Lady of the Lightning, it's prudent to engage the law of non-resistance. What I tell you? Relax and wait out the storm in the shelter of your faith and goodwill. Trusting that all will be well, even if it doesn't seem like it will in the moment. Let's remember, it's not about saying, you don't understand, Halo. Some people will say, you know, how terrible things are right now. I've got to do something. When you feel that motion forward of, I've got to do something. There's something I've just got to do. And you ask the divine, what do I have to do? And they show you instantly what it is you have to do. Take inspired action. I'm telling you, but the only action you should take when this lady of lightning comes around is absolutely inspired action. There's something that may crumble or something that may come around that really puts you in a different trajectory, something that you had never imagined in a million years. Wonderful new life has an opportunity to grow when the storm passes. The Lady of Lightning would much rather be your ally anyway. So, this is what I'm talking about, the whole hitting the brick wall. If we've not allowed the changes to come as they have been supposed to be uh, perform performing, <laughs> maybe someone's going to have some sort of thing where they're performing on stage or, man, that scares a lot of people, the on stage thing, the in front of people thing. I know. I'm a singer. I'm a pianist. I'm a musician. You know, it's not something I do regularly due to all of everything that's happened. And even before then, I had taken a back seat towards that because I really feel that doing these messages is at the time where I'm supposed to be. Now, we don't know how life's going to change, but it has something to do with your gifts, your talents. Uh, there's, they're going to ask you to be bold here. You're on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. I mean... I think your soul already knows the way. I think we ourselves in our mind and in our heart are looking to find the way. Perhaps listening to our soul, I think our soul, that's more like it. Your soul is longing to find the way, take you to the things you have desired because your inner being that is your soul knows the way forward. Only you can choose your path. So are you going to choose to stay stuck or are you going to take that leap forward Step on that stone that we call fear, which leads to hope. Therefore, in that hope, then we have courage moving forward. But I'm here to tell you, sometimes there is not that stone of hope. And you blatantly and courageously have got to step on that stone called fear and step past it, step off of it, straight into that stone of courage. That is when you start to feel hope and realize that the actions in this life that you take towards your dreams, your desires, and everything that you want to manifest, when you take that inspired action and you say, enough, and you have the moment of inspired action, you propel yourself into absolute new dimension. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't state that emphatically enough. I have been on the opposite side of that so many times in my life. And I can't emphatically enough state how powerful that moment is when you realize that you had aligned with absolute desire and inspiration to make whatever it is you wanted to happen since you were itty bitty little person in this world. And all of a sudden it happens and that, that this inspired action that you went with, you said, enough, it's time, I got to do this. Because what's on the other line? What's on the other side of that line of fear? What's on the other side of there is way more important than the fear you're feeling. It's way more important. Having that in your life, that beauty that is that, is so much more important than the fear you're feeling. When you get to that place, you cannot help but have inspired action. Perhaps that's somebody's brick wall that's coming forward. That brick wall of inspired action, it's going to sit there and make you go, what? What?
what you're telling me now and you're going to be afraid and you're going to be nervous but you will take inspired action at the exact time you're supposed to wouldn't even be surprised if the divine stands behind you and or trips you puts a leg out and trips you and you kind of fall into it and you're like what the actual f just happened to me man man crap <laughs> Dearest you, the common saying, be in the world but not of it and wear the world loosely, refer to the need to be engaged with life while not attached to specific outcomes. Do not take this world too personally for you are one of many co-creators here to play and we have many ideas about how all this should play out. Just know the outcome doesn't matter as much as the presence you bring to each experience and how you let yourself flow through this life. There's a real freedom in knowing and accepting this. So will you wear the world loosely or will it straitjacket you? It is your choice. Whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying to live as you're meant to. And when it comes to manifesting, don't worry about the how or even the why. We have that covered. Everything is going to turn out exactly as it should. Spirit has a plan. Loving you always and forever. Are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly, and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh. Or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting. And you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty that Spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? For all those who say I can't go out and have fun right now because of covid i can't this i can't that i can't xyz i was went for a drive last night because i couldn't sleep and, and actually not last night it was the night before yeah and i went and picked up a drink and um through the drive through at mcdonald's actually and as i turned out of the uh the drive through i saw this car little white car and I swear to God, the windows were about to burst out of that car. The base on that car was crazy. And I saw two teenage girls get out in the middle of the parking lot. No one else was there. And they had the music loud and they just started dancing. And dang, were they good. They had some serious moves. I'm just saying. I was like, hot damn, you know. And then in the middle of the night, it kind of got me bebopping to the beat. And I have to admit, you know, I kind of slowed down the train and drove a little slower through the parking lot and enjoyed the rhythm you know and I'm sitting there bebopping in my seat and I'm like yeah this is awesome and I sat there and thought you see we have our minds and our hearts in such a cage at this time a lot of people do due to fear of the virus or the fear of whichever is going on okay they have so much cage around them but in the middle of the night around you know whatever they're off in the middle of the parking lot dancing like a bunch of cray cray people and having an absolute blast you do not need to be in a box where dancing is you know strictly at a club or dancing is with a bunch of people on a dance floor or whichever sometimes it's in your room turning the tunes up and dancing to your own beat sometimes it's in dancing to the own rhythm your own rhythm in a whole day. I want to do this right now. Have you ever spent a whole day and taken the thoughts that come to your mind and just taking those thoughts as inspired action and then watching what happens as a result? It's so beautiful and oh my gosh, is it freeing because you start to see the beauty that is in every moment of every day. It's absolutely beautiful. Go on an adventure. What you got to lose? The spiritual brick wall you've been butting the head against? Yeah. Go on an adventure. The divine loves you. They want you to have fun. You're on a quest to experience more fun and on a pilgrimage back to who it is you're meant to be. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.